We are back with more of our eighth annual, it feels like Thanksgiving, because like a family reunion around here. Our all-star Thanksgiving with three more dishes for your table. Again, it sounds intimidating if you haven't done it. You just open up your phone, put the camera to it, and put it up against that little square there. It's a QR code, and you can get the recipe and save it for next week. All right, let's get started here. Chef and author of The Simple Art of Rice, Mr. J.J. Johnson. How are you today? Right, we're going to start with you. Love collard greens. Yeah. So, so there's two things that have to always be on the Thanksgiving table. Okay. It's collard greens. Yes. And rice. That's yes. true. Okay. Facts. So... I know I'm famous for my collard green salad, but in my new cookbook, The Simple Art of Rice, okay. I do this black rice salad with collard greens in it. Okay. But first, look, y'all eating it ready. Come I on. I know. I'm like, put the cocktail But down. over here, okay. you got coconut dressing. So you got a little bit okay. of lime juice, okay. a little bit of white vinegar, some ginger, mm -hmm. okay? And then some honey. Okay. Okay, no, that honey don't want to come out, so we're going to leave that alone. But it's like a sweeter taste. Very sweeter taste. Yes. And black rice is good for you. So, so we eat good. You tell it to the people. Good, this is good. That's not what I was expecting. All right. So in this salad, you're going to have some cashews, some orange zest, some I have basil. Question. How do you cook black rice? Because your black rice is so good. Like, how do you do it? So black rice, you cook it just like you cook rice. Yeah. But what you need to know is that the texture is going to be like farro okay. or barley. Little, little and if you come to field trip, you know what the black yeah. rice tastes like yeah. at field trip. But mm. it's going to be nutty. It's going to be firm. And then you kind of add this dressing to it. Mm. You add the raw collard greens. These ain't your mama's collard greens. No, they're okay? not. Because I make spicy collard greens. It doesn't look like that. And you just mix this together. Phenomenal. And it's going to be really great. Sweet, spicy, creamy. Yeah. And healthy. And very healthy. And I like the texture that the, uh, the cashews add, too. That's great. That's nice. Delicious. Okay. Thank you, Jake. This is a win. All right. Next up, chef, author of Justice of the Pies. Yay. This is Maya Camille Broussard. Maya Camille, uh, this year I know you're thankful for your mom, who also works on your business with you. Yes, so what's, my mom. So what's your message to her this holiday? My mom is a retired physician. So, oh, wow. you know, what's, what's the best job to have next for oh, a second man. job <laughs> than to work for me? <laughs> <laughs> Helps you keep your costs down, though. Helps you keep, keep your labor costs down. Yes, What definitely. are we making? You know, um, so pies. we are making a German chocolate bourbon pecan pie. Mm -hmm. Had me a bourbon. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we, we love our, you know, our cocktails. There we do. And we love our cocktails and desserts. So uh, we are going to use an all butter crust. And you could get this recipe also in my cookbook, okay. Justice of the Pies. And then we set that aside. Okay. And then we focus on our filling, which is eggs. Make sure you whisk the eggs first before you add in everything else. Because if you don't, then your filling is going to be too frothy. So that's oh, our granulated oh, sugar. Then we have dark corn syrup. We'll pretend okay. that comes out. Oh, <clears> we only nice put in, uh, <laughs> just dump it in there. Okay. And then we also have uh, chocolate syrup. And oh, you can make it, yeah. you know, from scratch or you can store bar. It's perfectly chocolate. fine. And then chocolate? Yes. Okay. Stop um, fudge. Oh, fudge. Fudge. Oh, and then that? for flavor, a bit of vanilla. And for even more flavor, salt. You know, salt always brings out the flavor in whatever you're making. We whisk that together. Okay. And then we're going to put in flour to thicken it. And then we fold in our pecans and our sweetened coconut plates. And then blend that all together. Right. Pour it into your pie shell. You have a beautiful... How long do you bake German that? chocolate bread yeah, pecan pie. Can you cut can you can you these? How, can you, how, can you, how long do you bake it? Can I get a little uh, we bake it for about 35 oh minutes at 300. Yeah, see? That's young. See? Okay. Wow. Hey. Happy Thanksgiving to me. <laughs> Last but far from least, this is Hetty McKinnon. Hetty's the author of Tender Heart. It's Good. a cookbook about vegetables Good. and unbreakable family bonds as well. And Hetty, this recipe is great for families who might have a gluten-free eater like Dylan uh, in mm. the bunch. So tell us how your soy sauce brownies come soy together. Soy sauce brownies. Yeah, Never we're heard. making so soy that. sauce brownies. Not your traditional... Thanksgiving dessert, but it's um so we use soy sauce, but we use make sure you get the gluten free soy sauce or tamari. Okay. So the, what the soy sauce does is it adds you know a little bit of like salted caramel flavor. Okay. So first of all, well, we're just going to melt the butter and the chocolate. I mean that right there is enough. But yeah, the, that's the actually dessert in itself. The way right? you're doing it though for folks at home, you yeah, got... double broiler. Oh. This stops the chocolate from freezing up. So y'all all know this because you're professional. <laughs> but for me, I'm like wow. And this okay. is the easiest. Well, there's three bowls here, but it's virtually okay. a one bowl dish. So we, we've got the melted chocolate. Okay. We've got three eggs in here. Gonna add that in there. And you know, I will say, because Dylan isn't here today, she has been all all season trying to find yeah, perfect desserts for yeah, yeah, yeah. her family that are gluten free that still taste yummy. Yeah. So in here we've got almond yeah. meal, almond flour with some Ooh. cocoa powder. 
We've got some brown Chocolate sugar. Still All gluten-free. Yeah. All gluten-free. And then we've got some vanilla extract. Okay. okay. And our secret ingredient, the soy, soy sauce. Why soy? So the soy sauce gluten-free soy sauce. It yeah. adds this kind of, brings out the chocolatey flavor more. Okay. By the way. Adds that caramel flavor. I understand that at your at your house, after Thanksgiving, you have a tradition. You watch, what do you watch? We you, watch Friends. We watch, watch Friends. all Aww. the Thanksgiving episodes of Friends. <laughs> well, so, awesome. you, do you remember the episode with the... Uh, yes, my, my your, favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, Mike, Camille, Eddie, thank, thank you all. Thanks to all of our chefs, by the way. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If you love these recipes, scan the QR code okay. to save them for next week. And stay tuned for even more of today's best Thanksgiving coming up next hour on Huda and Jenna. I'm like, where's my cocktail, my salad? Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs>